What's going on beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're about to go over the best XP method in the game. Drop a thumbs up on the video, hit that red subscribe button, comment down below for the algorithm, and let's get into today's XP method. Thanks to my video sponsor U4GM. They are offering cheap MLB The Show 24 stubs with fast delivery. If you are interested, check the link in the description and check out more services use code fat for five percent off thanks for your support all right so the number one thing you want to do whether you are trying to get team affinity done or parallel players or just xp path go to play versus cpu and this is super easy you don't even have to play the full game four innings as the home team is what you want to try to do now you want to try to get four to six hits per inning and you want to try to get four plus runs meaning if it's people on base and you hit a single leave the people on base have your best player that you want to parallel up the fastest as hitter number one now you're going to be facing the cpu own veteran difficulty and if you can use creative stadiums i have a stadium called home run dreams in the vault or you can use a high elevation minor league stadium or the rockies now when you are picking your pitcher it is best to pick the number four pitcher i repeat the number four pitcher now once he gets tired and pulled out of the game in the third or fourth inning is going to bring in a worse pitcher okay so number four pitcher be the home team try to get four to six hits and four plus runs per inning at the end of the fourth inning you're going to quit out so you can see i have 17 runs right now it's the bottom of the fourth every inning unless you just get super lucky you won't always get four plus runs five plus runs is even better six plus runs is even better seven plus runs is even better now you're going to be getting over 4,000 xp every four innings now if you are using team affinity players this is going to be the best method with the bosses every game you are going to be getting about 12 to 1500 team affinity xp for your players in four innings and if you want to play the complete game you should be able with the same method four to six hits in an inning four plus runs in the inning it should be able to finish off your xp bosses and you can move through the team affinity super super fast okay now I know it's versus the CPU, but you still want to be patient. You want a ball closest straight down the middle as possible. You want to move the runners. Now, if you have a double opportunity, save that person on third base. Don't send them home. Send them back to third base. Try to have bases loaded. That's going to help you parallel your people up faster, and it's going to help overall. Now, as you can see right there, I'm going to quit the game. We didn't get the two people off of base, but it's okay. Now, as you can see, on the first inning, five runs. Second inning, 11 runs. Third and fourth inning, we didn't do as good. But we got the five runs. We got the 11 runs. The one run and two runs. So, overall, that is going to give us a lot of XP. Four innings, that's 9,000 XP. You're going to be looking more at around 4,000 to 4,500 XP without the double XP boost, okay? This is going to be super fast. Four innings, some people only have an hour and a half to play. They have a life. They have girlfriends. They have friends. Some people could no life it and spend five to six hours. This is going to be the fastest way to number one, finish team affinity, plan versus the CPU, getting them four to six hits. Four plus runs is the fastest and best way to get this done.